Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. Today, in this exclusive video, I'm going to show you how do we enable multi-factor authentication in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure step by step. So guys, before we begin, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and click on a bell icon to get such an amazing videos directly in your inbox. So let's begin and see how do we enable multi-factor authentication. But what multi-factor authentication is? A multi-factor authentication is an additional authentication apart from your username password that you enter to log in. So that if somebody knows your username password, they will never be able to log in unless they have other factor like mobile or let's say email access of yours and your application authenticator. So there are various ways using which we allows this multi-factor authentication that we are going to do. Uh, uh, show you what are the options that we have to for this multi-factor authentication in OCI. So let's begin and let me share the OCI console here. So once you log in into the OCI, you have to go to this hamburger menu and go to this identity and security and go to the domains. Under domains, you will find out the default domain and then go to the security. When you go, not security, I guess under security, you have to go to this MFA. Under MFA, you can see there are various factors of multiple authentication. It can be your security question. You have to set up the security question. It can be a email authentication. It can be a bypass code. It can be a duo security. It can be a fast ID online online feed authenticator. So all those factors are can be enabled, or it can be a mobile like mobile app passcode or mobile app notification. So meaning you have to download a mobile authentic Oracle mobile authenticator app on which you will have a one-time passcode that you will enter by login once you, if you enable this. Or you can enable the text messages as well, but for that you have to do some configuration or you can set the phone call as well. So these are the factors that can be enabled for the MFA, okay? So I am and checking all those and but for now what I'm going to do I'm going to simply have email and then security questions as a MFA option and then if you go down you can see maximum number of enrolled factors by default is five so basically you have various factors but how many factors a user can enroll for okay trusted device enable trusted device so if you disable this then both below options will be disabled but once you enable it it says hey number of days our device can be trusted by default it is 15 meaning when you will try to uh, log in then you have to add additional factor authentication like email but after putting the email right you will be logged in but do you want to re-enter your mfa again and again that is a question here so by default till 15 days you are not allowed to enter this uh, this MFA if you trust a device, right? And maximum number of trusted device that can be. So default number is five, you can increase or decrease it, all right? Sign in rules, so maximum unsuccessful MFA attempt. So if you don't enter the correct email 10 times, then, then after 11 times, you will be logged, okay? Fine, after you do the changes, click on a save changes save changes. So I will be able to add email and security question as a multi-factor authentication. Now, this is first. And second is you have to go to this sign-on policies. Under sign-on policy, we already have one sign-on policy and we have one rule. So we can add additional rule here, which will be like a MFA. And then authenticator identity provider, let's leave it. Group membership. So who all users who are part of administrator group will be allowed for this sign-on rule okay so you can enable more groups to follow this sign-on rule that i am adding here and then require the user to be assigned to at least one administrator role 
keep me signed in option let's leave it and you can exclude some users as well from this sign on role if you want and then filter by client ip address and then allow access so here you can see we have an option called prompt for additional factor so that is the one that you have to add any factor or you can specify the factors only it can be a security question it can be email so let's say both so user can enroll in both okay enrollment required or not required optional and frequency once per session on trusted device and let's say add sign-on rules so this will add the mfa sign-on rule so you can change the priority let me make it on the top mfa and then save changes all right now let's log out and let me try to log in and see the it will ask for the mfa or not So I'm part of OSA administrator group, hence it should ask me sign in. So here you can see the email verification, right? And email containing a passcode has been sent to my email ID. But you can see trusted this device for 15 days if you select it. So you don't need to enter this passcode for the next 15 days. But if you uncheck it, every time you every time you you log in it will ask for the passcode and here we have the show alternate login methods as well and which is my you have not configured any alternate methods contact that's fine let's leave it let's enter the passcode that i have received okay so this is the passcode that i have received all right this is valid only for 10 minutes and then enter here and then trust this device for 15 days and then verify so here you can see I'm able to log in successfully via MFA. Now let's log out and see if it will ask again or not. Here you see it is not asking for MFA again because I have enabled this device as a trusted source and it will not ask the multi-factor authentication for the next 15 days. So this is how you can enable MFA in, in OCI. I hope you find this video useful. If yes, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get such an amazing content directly in your inbox. You can follow me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.